So today is the day that I come back for Thanksgiving break. I've actually been dreading this day since I moved back into school, but uh, now that the day's here, I'm feeling kind of optimistic, you know? Like, it won't be that bad. Like, you know what? This year, it's gonna be a good Thanksgiving. I feel it. I'm home. Shut up. I need you to clean this entire house. I mean, I want this place to be spotless for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big important day. I hope you know that. So what happened to Hey? How are you? I missed my only son. What's happening tomorrow that's so important? Why are you asking me questions? Just do what I say. Ah. Hi, mom. There's jollof in the fridge when you are finished. Okay. Did you miss your son at all? Because it doesn't seem like it. I mean, it's nice to have somebody who can uh, handle the heavy duty of housework, you know? <laughs> I'm getting too old for this things. <laughs> old? You just turned 51. How could you be too old to clean your own house? Also, you didn't even answer my question. Ah! Did I not answer the question? I said it's nice to have a houseboy again. What do you want? Never mind. Since your husband didn't answer the question I'm going to ask you, did you miss your son at all? You know, I'm happy that uh, there will be somebody who appreciates my cooking. Appreciate the long hours that go into cooking all that food in the fridge. You know, I'm happy. I'm very happy that there will be somebody who appreciates me. Unlike a useless man that's standing in the hallway right now. Back to sender. Y'all do everything but answer my question, bro. Damn. Weird ass family. Can I go fix myself a plate now? No, you cannot eat without the guests. You invited people without telling me. Calm down. I didn't invite any stranger. It's just my manager, Mike. Mike and his family, even. <laughs> I want to get close to Mike because I'm trying to get a little bit of a promotion. <laughs> I hope you know you look like a dick writer right now. Like, he's just going to eat your food and not give you that promotion. You are very lucky I'm a born again Christian. Or I would have slapped you silly. Oh, wow. So much for a born-again Christian. My friend! That's them. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Correct me if I'm wrong, but is this not the same Uncle Mike that was boxing my dad? Mike, you are a bloody fool. Eh, uh, I'm a fool. You too, you are also a bumboclat. Ha! Huh? Me bumboclat. You are calling me bumboclat in my house. He's beating me in my own house. What a shame. Hey, Mike, what do you think you are doing in my house? Oh, you don't remember? You sent me an invite on WhatsApp. I was even surprised, but my family, they told me to accept. So, <laughs> now I'm here. WhatsApp invitation? Hey, I sent the invitation to the wrong Mike. Hey. I cannot believe I'm married to this man. Okay, uh, since I'm here, I'm going to go and chop some food. <laughs> Junior, come eat. Me, I won't touch that poison that you call food. <laughs> hey, Wendy, nobody was offering you any food. Go and take your hunger somewhere else. I don't know how this woman has the audacity to talk to me in such a way. Her food is poison. You should be the last person talking about somebody else's food. Yes, back in the day, we used to date. It's true. But there's a reason why we are not together today. Reason one, you smell like tilapia. Why are you having conflict with your bathtub? It's not nice. Bath yourself. Wow. Reason two, you cannot cook. Mori, every time this woman entered the kitchen, I would even say a prayer. Every time I eat this woman's food, I had to shit. Very bad shits. Very painful shits. Why? Ah, dang. Hmm. Brother, I don't remember your wife's food being this good. Hey! Hey, Mike, finish your food and get out of my house before I make you regret. After the way you disrespected my wife on national television, it should be me that's making a dress. Jesus is Lord! <sighs> Can't deal with these people. <sighs> so you're not about to invite me? First off, you got to stop barging in my room like that. You don't live here. And second, why would I want to chill with you? 
you do fraud. You're still making that tired ass fraud joke. Come up with something new. Why don't you just do me a favor and get out of my room? You're just disturbing my peace right now at this point. So why don't you make me leave? Bitch boy. Are you dumb? Bitch boy is crazy. Like, like that's a crazy thing to call somebody. <laughs> Wendy, I'm not the one you should be mwing at. See your husband. He's eating like he doesn't get fed at home. Now, what does that say about you? <laughs> Sister, humble yourself, okay? Always remember that you are married to my sloppy seconds. Hey! Don't touch my wife, you harlots! See ya! Which one are you calling harlots? So, what's up? What you want to do? Honestly, I feel like you should stop worrying about me and actually worry about your parents. What? Look out there. Ajay. 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 Yo, Junior. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>